yes uh good evening uh good evening everyone so yes today we are going to start with extra hepatic biliary apparatus so yeah before starting the session just give me a thumbs up in the chat box that yeah good evening angel just give me a thumbs up in the chat box that the audio and visuals are perfectly fine so that i can start with the chat um the class yes angel very good dimple ask very good good evening beta sahil kure says it's all fine sir okay perfect perfect beta i hope everything is going good in your life yes good evening sahil kure welcome to the session on extra hepatic biliary apparatus salman khan yes hello beta hello yes thank you usman good evening harshit good evening good evening so yes we are going to start with the topic of extra hepatic biliary apparatus so yeah gyan tikka good evening salman good evening beta good evening chal let us let us now start with this particular yeah <clears throat> topic extra hepatic biliary apparatus or in simple words it is excretory apparatus of the liver okay it is excretory apparatus of the liver okay liver is secreting bile and like these are <clears throat> how it is going uh, to you know in the duodenum so we are going to just trace the path right now yes so <clears throat> yeah you already know beta the left lobe of the liver okay you already know from the left lobe of the liver we have the left hepatic duct okay we have the left hepatic duct so that is one of the excretory apparatus of the liver right yes sashta tabassum hello uh, dhanushri good evening good evening beta welcome to the session yes now from the right lobe of the liver beta right lobe of the liver from the right lobe of the liver we have the right hepatic duct we have the right hepatic duct yes tanvi good evening shradhanjali good evening welcome to the session we have the right hepatic duct so beta in this picture you can very well see we have two lobes over here beta so let us suppose this is the left hepatic duct okay we have the two duct so we have the left hepatic duct and this one it is the right hepatic duct coming from the two lobes of the liver two anatomical lobes that we discussed yesterday okay now can anyone tell me the two anatomical lobes in the chat box i am waiting for your answers in the chat box just tell me the two anatomical lobes of the liver so that it's easier yes the two anatomical lobes i have already written it on the screen but i want you people to write it in the chat box yes ravinder good evening beta good evening welcome to the session yes now you already know right hepatic duct and the left hepatic duct they will combine to form the common hepatic duct they will combine to form the common hepatic duct yes i am waiting for the answers beta the two anatomical lobes of the liver chal now so the third one will be the common hepatic duct common hepatic duct yes we have the common hepatic duct beta so you should remember this is formed by this is formed by union of yes tell me very good beta it is the right lobe and the left lobe very good dimple very good beta very good it is formed by the union of okay the common hepatic duct beta it is formed by the union of yes it is formed by the union of left and right hepatic ducts left and right hepatic ducts right now the fourth one beta you already know okay you are already aware that this particular structure beta this particular structure it is the gall bladder it is the gall bladder now i want answers in the chat box beta 
which duct is this which duct is this that i have marked right now i want answers from everyone in the chat box which duct is this meanwhile i'm just writing it so yeah we have the gallbladder gallbladder and yes temple very good it is the cystic duct varun kashyap very good beta it is the cystic duct of the gallbladder we have the cystic duct of the gallbladder yes such the very good beta it is the cystic duct then we very good so we have the gallbladder and yeah and it's cystic duct cystic duct now my question is this cystic duct and this common hepatic duct they are combining together to form this duct can anyone tell me the name of this duct the another question yes ravinder it is right yes <clears throat> yeah varun kashyap very good beta it is the common bile duct temple very good varun garima very good very good beta very good shivardhan namaskar beta namaskar so you are already aware that this one it is the common bile duct it is the common bile duct so remember this is the fifth one that we have to discuss we have the common yes we have the common bile duct and it is formed by it is formed by union of common hepatic duct common hepatic duct i am writing cht common hepatic duct plus cystic duct plus cystic duct okay beta common hepatic duct and cystic duct yes <clears throat> i hope this is clear to everyone fatafat se ek thumbs up de do that the excretory apparatus is clear we have the left hepatic duct right hepatic duct combining to form the common hepatic duct we have the gallbladder and the cystic duct cystic duct along with the common hepatic duct forms the common bile duct yes temple varun garima very good priti very good beta very good shrivardhan very good perfect perfect harshit perfect chalo itna clear ho gaya itna clear ho gaya to fatafat se ek diagram bana lete i hope this is clear everyone to isi cheez ko fatafat se ek diagram bana lete aur isme do important points we have to discuss two more important points in this particular diagram we'll just try to focus it over here so yes you already know we have the two ducts coming from the two lobes of the liver the right anatomical lobe and the left anatomical lobe right we have the right anatomical lobe and we have the left anatomical lobe of the liver and these two are forming yeah these two are forming a duct and that is called as the common hepatic duct right this is called as the common hepatic duct you all are aware that we have gallbladder yes we have this gallbladder right we have this gall bladder and gall bladder is having this cystic duct okay which is combining with this particular duct yeah and in turn beta it is leading to formation of a new duct right that is the common bile duct right so you already know that it is the left hepatic duct right we have the right hepatic duct we have the common hepatic duct we have the cystic duct and this is the common bile duct common bile duct okay now guys you already know that <clears throat> now remember the common hepatic duct it is 2.5 cm long okay the common hepatic duct it is 2.5 cm long okay remember that there is an angle okay there is an angle between the cystic duct between the cystic duct and the common hepatic duct okay and this is called as the cysto hepatic angle and this is called as the cysto hepatic angle it is called as the cysto hepatic angle and remember that cysto hepatic angle it is always an acute angle it is always an acute angle it is always an acute 
angle right so <clears throat> yes now if you just try to look in this particular picture so you can easily identify the cystohepatic angle over here so yes this is the angle between the common hepatic duct the common hepatic duct and the cystic duct and this angle it is called as the cystohepatic just from the name beta cystohepatic angle and remember it is an acute angle it is an acute angle okay acute angle now beta in 15 percent of the population you just have to remember this point also as well as um, like okay in 15 percent population we have accessory hepatic duct accessory hepatic duct now beta when i say accessory accessory means extra extra matlab, we have the left hepatic duct we have the right hepatic duct beyond this like beyond these two ducts we have some extra hepatic ducts beta okay and this excess uh, accessory hepatic duct it is coming from the right lobe of the liver it is coming from the right lobe of the liver okay we have the right anatomical lobe of liver right now this duct it is coming from the right lobe of the liver and it can open okay if it is coming from the right lobe of the liver for example if it is the right lobe so it has four places where four places where it can be like it can open so it has four possible sites it has four possible sites of opening it has four possible sites of opening okay you already know we have something which is called as the body of the gallbladder so it can open in the body of the gallbladder also okay so this is the extra hepatic duct okay it is the accessory hepatic duct right it can be the body of the gallbladder body of the gallbladder it can be the cystic duct it can be the cystic duct also now suppose this is the cystic duct and this accessory hepatic duct can open into cystic duct directly it can open into the cystic duct directly and it can also open yes it can also open into common bile duct it can also open into common bile duct okay common bile duct common bile duct and it can also open directly into the common hepatic duct so yes we have four sites of opening of this accessory yes accessory hepatic duct it can open directly into the common hepatic duct it can open directly into the body of the gallbladder directly into the cystic duct and directly into the common bile duct i hope this particular point and this these five parts that i have like drawn and mentioned in the diagram is clear to each and every one beta but i would say thumbs up that this is particularly clear to each and every one over here just give me a thumbs up in the chat box yeah i'm waiting for your thumbs up guys yeah so yes angel matthew very good beta dimple d very good beta very good tanvi garima very good Chali. next let us start with the anatomy of the gallbladder. Harshit Kriti, very good. Very good, Peter. Osman, good. Good, Peter. Now, coming on to the anatomy of the gallbladder, Peter. First, we will discuss the anatomy of the gallbladder. Now, Peter, you already know. Ye... It is actually having a shape of pear. Pear is a fruit. I already know. It's called Nashpati. Bolte, destroyed husband. So I just saw a reel on the Instagram where a woman was asking from the fruit seller about uh, the pear only. And yeah, it's for, it was Nashpati. Nash means destroyed and Pati means husband in Hindi. So it is actually pear shaped. Jokes apart. Yeah, it is pear shaped. So yeah, so that much of English was like horrible, <laughs> pear shaped, right? 
आई होप एवरी वन सीन इट द नाशपति देखा होगा सब लोगों ने या नाउ बेटा द साइट बेटा इट इज रिमेम्बर इट इज सिचुएटेड ऑन द गोल ब्लाडर फोसा now i want answers from everyone in the chat box beta gall bladder fossa is present on which surface of the liver gall bladder fossa is present on which surface of the liver i want answers from everyone in the chat box so yes the site it is the gall bladder fossa ha jaldi se answers batao beta fada fad jisne ka lectures attend kiya usko bilkul pata hona chahiye it is present on Yes, Varun Kashyap, very good, beta. It is the inferior surface of the liver. So we have the gall bladder fossa on the inferior surface of the liver. Yes, Garima Kriti, very good, beta. Perfect. It is the inferior surface of, and most probably it is the right lobe of the liver. Okay, it is the right anatomical lobe of the liver where it is present. Yes, very good. Yes, shake inferior. Yes, very good. Kriti, very good. Now, <clears throat> Jawas, very good. It is the inferior surface. Now, coming on to the size, beta. It is seven to ten centimeter long. Okay, it is seven to ten centimeter long, and remember, it is three centimeter broad. It is seven to ten centimeter long and three centimeter broad. Okay, Ravinder, very good. <sighs> कैपेसिटी बेटा याद रखिएगा कैपेसिटी याद रखिएगा इट इज 30 टू 50 एम एल इट इज 30 टू 50 एम एल ओके एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ द गोल ब्लाडर इट इट इज टू स्टोर इट इज स्टोरिंग एंड इट इज हेल्पिंग इन द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ बाइल ओके इट हेल्प्स इन द स्टोरेज एंड कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ बाइल so i hope this is clear everyone just give me a thumbs up the shape site size capacity and function the shape site size capacity and function shall we <clears throat> shall we perfect dimple very good beta very good dimple shall we next coming on to the parts of the gall bladder coming on to the parts of the gall bladder yes with the parts yes such the angel very good beta very good with the parts i will be discussing the relations also okay with the parts i will be discussing the relations also right so yes beta remember the gall bladder is composed of three different parts it is it is having three parts yes it is having three parts yes remember we have the fundus okay the fundus yes we have the body and the neck of the gall bladder we have the fundus body neck and neck ends in a duct and that is called as the cystic duct so we will be discussing about the cystic duct as well so yes we have the cystic duct of the gall bladder can anyone tell in the neck region a pouch is present what is the name of that pouch although i will be discussing it yes yes so good afternoon antaryami litani anyways can anyone tell me what is this pouch called as yeah i want answers from everyone meanwhile i will be discussing the fundus of the gall bladder okay i will be starting with the fundus you can easily see the fundus it is the lower most part of the gall bladder then we have the body part and then we have the neck part and automatically we have the cystic duct yes so it is automatically divided into fundus body neck and cystic duct let us just try to draw our own diagram beta let us just try to draw our own diagram so yes Hmm. So you already know. Let us suppose this is the gall bladder. Yes. Can anyone? No one told me the pouch that is present over there. Yes. <clears throat> so we have the fundus part, beta. So this is the fundus of the gall bladder. Now this is the fundus of the gall bladder. remember it is the expanded 
it is the expanded or I'll, I'll just write it over here because I have to draw the diagram also completely. So yes, remember the fundus, yes, Muhammad Ali, yes. It, it's Hartsman's pouch, yes, function. I will be discussing the clinical anatomy, Muhammad Ali, don't worry about that, yes. Okay, function batane lag gaya main. Mera, okay, what I'm teaching, just concentrate on that first. I'll be coming to all other points as well. Now, you already know the fundus, right? So the fundus, it is the expanded lower end. It is the expanded lower end of the gallbladder. Okay. Now, this fundus, it is completely covered with peritoneum. Okay. It is completely covered with peritoneum. Now, when I say completely covered with peritoneum, I want to show you this particular picture better. Now you already know that suppose this is the liver, okay? That suppose this is the liver and we already know this is the inferior surface of the liver. Now I'm drawing half of the liver over here just to indicate that, yes. So you already know this is the, how it is located. I'm just trying to show a section over here. So yes. So you already know the peritoneum, which is lining over here. Okay. The peritoneum, which is lining over here, it will come. Okay. It will try to cover the entire fundus. Okay. It will try to cover the entire fundus and it will move like this within the shape of the gallbladder. Okay. Within the shape of the gallbladder. So yes, that is the peritoneal covering beta. That is the peritoneal covering. Now, you already know it is the expanded lower end, completely covered with peritoneum. And when we talk about the relations beta, when we talk about the relations, so remember beta, we have two types of relations over here, right? We have the anterior relations. and posterior relations. Anterior relations means ki what is present in front and posterior means what is present behind this fundus part. Specifically, I'm talking about the fundus part, right? So remember, yeah, if, if you just want to see the location of this uh, fundus, beta, it is exactly, okay, the location, it is exactly, uh, no, at, the tip of ninth coastal cartilage. It is at the tip of the ninth coastal cartilage. Okay. It is at the tip of the ninth coastal cartilage. Now, you already know we have a colon over here. And this is, you already know that we have this. Yeah, we have this colon and the name of this colon over here which you can see over here it is the yes it is the transverse colon okay we have the transverse colon which is situated yes just behind the fundus just behind the fundus part okay we have the transverse colon so we have the transverse colon so in posterior relations beta remember that we have the transverse colon, we have the transverse colon and anteriorly, it is directly connected to the anterior abdominal wall. Okay, it is directly connected to the anterior abdominal wall. Aake ki taraf kuch bhi present nahi hai, it is directly the wall of the abdomen. Okay, it is directly the wall of the abdomen to which it is directly connected. So just give me a thumbs up in the chat box that the fundus part of the gallbladder is clear to everyone. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat box that the fundus part is like clear to each and everyone. Yes. Actually, angel, dimple, garima, very good. Aladita, I actually don't know when the lower limb I will start, but yeah, 
After this, I have to start with the thorax or lower limb. I will just create a poll and ask what students want. And accordingly, I will go with the yeah poll, right? So abdomen, let me complete. Uh, like few classes are left for abdomen, and then I will start with the other topic. Yes, Samia, very good, Peter. Chalo, perfect. <clears throat> now, coming on to the next part, that is the body of the gallbladder. Okay. Now you already know that. The body of the gallbladder, it contacts, okay, it contacts the gallbladder, okay, the gallbladder fossa. Gallbladder fossa. If you have seen the diagram, then you have anteriorly, when you are watching the uh, anterior surface of the liver, then you have seen gallbladder part of the liver, and that was actually the fundus. So, the fundus part is exposed, but the body it is actually in the gallbladder fossa. But the body is actually in the gallbladder fossa. Okay. So, it is the gallbladder fossa of the liver. Of the liver. Okay. Now, what is the direction of the body? It is located upwards. Okay. Obviously, the fundus is fundus ke upper gallbladder ki body. So, it is upwards. It is situated behind, okay, in the inferior surface of liver and uh, to the posterior side, right? So it is upwards, backwards, and remember it is to the left, okay, as compared to the fungus, right? It is covered by, now, if you just see the diagram beta, now if this is the fundus part beta, so fundus it is covered by the entire peritoneum but if you clearly see beta if you clearly see the body part it is only covered with peritoneum inferiorly okay it is only covered with peritoneum inferiorly right it is only covered with peritoneum inferiorly so remember that it is covered by peritoneum okay it is covered by peritoneum but remember it is only inferiorly it is covered by peritoneum but it is inferiorly only now if we talk about the relations okay relations so you already know we have anterior superior relation and or simply i can say the upper part of the body and the lower part of the body upper part it is also called as the anterior superior part okay the anterior superior that part of the body and it is upwards right and yeah the lower part it is towards the back it is posterior inferior part it is posterior inferior part so now guys just try to see the diagram again you are very well aware okay suppose this is the yeah gallbladder Okay, suppose this is the gallbladder right and you already know that this part okay this part which i'm talking about it is the body of the gallbladder okay it is the body of the gallbladder now yeah <clears throat> on the upper part of the gallbladder beta okay yeah anteriorly what is present anteriorly what is present it is the up no i want this answer from you people now I want this answer from you people. You people will tell me ki anteriorly kya present hoga. Abhi maine khud hi bataya to me. Anteriorly kya present hoga iske. Khud dimag lagao ki gallbladder ki body kaha hai. It is just behind the liver. Okay, gallbladder fossa that is like on the inferior surface of the liver. So ab mujhe batao ki gallbladder ki body ke aage kya present hoga. Use your brains and tell me the answer guys. Use your brains and tell me the answer in the chat box. Chali, batai hai, batai hai. In fact, tum logo ko. I have already spoken the answer. Yes, dimple D, very good beta. Aage to liver present hoga na. Angel Matthew, very good beta. Aage kya present hoga? Liver present hoga na beta. Aage kya present hoga? It will be the liver only which will be present. Yeah, liver, liver. Kriti, very good beta. Obviously, baat hai. Aage liver present hoga. So, ab. Yes. Ab, you guys will get. Yeah. 
So you can see, yes, you can see the duodenum. Yes, you can see the duodenum over here, beta. And remember, it is the first part of the duodenum that is present towards the neck region. And towards the body, we will see the second part of the duodenum. We will see the second part of the duodenum, which is just behind the body, beta. So yes, it is the second part of the duodenum. Okay, it is the second part of duodenum it is the second part of the duodenum so if you want you can just look at this picture as well beta i hope i have got this picture yeah hmm so yeah i don't have actually hmm Chal. but anyhow you can just see over here beta you can just see beta over here that behind the body, the major part it is the second part of the duodenum. It is the second part of the duodenum. I hope this is clear to everyone. I hope this is clear to everyone. So behind the body, yes, we have the second part. Even in some books, it is written first part as well. In some books, it is written first part as well. So no need to worry. Yeah, some uh, part of the first part of duodenum is also present. So I hope this uh, body of the call pattern is clear to everyone. Just give me a thumbs up, beta. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat box if it is clear to everyone. Yes. Chali, jaldi se answer de dije if it is clear to everyone. Hmm. Chali. Angel Matthews, very good, beta. Very good. Coming on to the neck of the call bladder. Yes, coming on to the neck. Kriti, very good. Samya, very good, beta. Very good. Now coming on to the neck. Yes, you already know the neck. It is the narrow upper end. Okay, it is the narrow upper end of gallbladder. It is the narrow upper end of gallbladder. Okay, which is continuous with cystic duct. Okay, which is continuous with cystic duct. You already know this, which is continuous with cystic duct. Okay. So you already know, yeah, <clears throat> we have three relations, okay, three relations. Uh, you guys are going to tell me what will be present superiorly. Neck ke upar kya present hoga? You are very well aware that we have, yes, liver. Inferiorly. We have the end of first part of duodenum. You can very well see in this diagram as well. Okay, you can very well see in this diagram as well. We have the end of the first part of the duodenum. Okay, so yes, we have the end of the first part of duodenum. And remember, posterior medially. Posterior medially, okay, the wall is dilated. The wall of the neck is dilated to form a pouch like structure. To form a pouch like structure, and that answer everyone has given uh, correctly it is Hartmann's pouch, beta. It is the Hartmann's pouch, right? Now remember. In Hartman's pouch, clinical integration, beta clinical integration. If the gallstones, okay, we have the gallstones, okay, if they are lodged here, if they are lodged here, beta, it can cause, <clears throat> okay, if they are lodged here, agar wo usme fuss jate hain, if they obstruct, okay, if they are actually present in this pouch, what they will do, okay, what they will do, they will cause adhesion of gallbladder it will cause the adhesion of the gallbladder okay <clears throat> yes and 
up till the first part of duodenum first part of duodenum right and you already know these gallstones can even perforate so these gallstones can even perforate the duodenum they can even perforate the duodenum okay so these gallstones can even perforate the duodenum so yes this was about the neck i hope the three body parts i mean the three parts of the gallbladder are clear the fundus body and the neck of the gallbladder so just give me a thumbs up in the chat box guys that all these parts and their relations are pretty clear to each and every one those who are listening to my lecture right so yes now coming on to the cystic duct coming on to the cystic duct chaliye priti very good beta priti very good angel very good beta karima soumya very good very good chaliye <clears throat> baki sab bhi reply kar diya karo aisa lagna chahiye ki i am no uh, teaching some uh, good students so who are replying constantly sashta tabassum very good beta very good beta so yes cystic duct chal cystic duct beta it is the duct of gall bladder okay you already know cystic duct it is the duct of gall bladder it is the duct of the gall bladder okay remember it is 1 and 1/2 inches long 1 and 1/2 inches long right now it continues with okay it continues with the neck of gall bladder it continues with the neck of the gall bladder right it runs downwards you already have seen what is the direction it runs downwards backwards and remember to which side and to the left and to the left okay so <clears throat> it is actually making it is actually making s shape bend s shape bend with the neck is making s shape band with the neck yes now remember its mucous membrane now this point is very very important its mucous membrane projects into the lumen projects into the lumen forming a spiral ridge that is called spiral ridge which is called as the spiral valve of hyster okay spiral valve of Hist, very very important. So this is something that you have to know. So you already know that. Okay, I'll I'll just draw it for you guys. I will draw for you people. So yes, it is the spiral valve of hist. So what is the location, beta? It is the neck. Or uh, okay, it is the cystic duct. Sorry, it is the cystic duct where this a uh, spiral valve of hist is present. So you guys are very well aware that suppose this is the gallbladder. Okay, now suppose. <clears throat> this is the gall bladder and you already know we have the hartmann's pouch and then we have this cystic duct right cystic duct so it is descending downwards beta niche ki taraf aa raha hai okay it is moving towards the left side or thoda sa piche ki taraf so it is backward so yes this is and this cystic duct beta you already know that this is the yes this is the cystic duct okay this is the cystic duct and this cystic duct it is covered with mucous membrane okay it is covered with this the whole duct it is lined with the mucous membrane okay so this is the mucous membrane okay and this mucous membrane 
basically it will project into the lumen basically it will create a spiral ridge so it will create a spiral ridge and that spiral ridge beta it is called as the spiral valve of hister okay it is called as the spiral valve of hister so remember the mucous membrane the mucous membrane it is present in form of so remember it is present in form of concentric folds it is present in form of concentric folds okay 5 to 10 and these concentric folds are something which is referred as the spiral valve of hister okay spiral valve of hister and this spiral valve of hister it has an importance beta it has an importance it keeps the duct it keeps the duct open all the time okay it keeps the duct open all the time okay it keeps the duct open all the time so i hope the cystic duct is clear to each and every one beta fada fada sake thumbs up de to chat box mein mujhe bata diya karo ki ek ek topic ke baad tum log ko clear ho jata hai chal i'm waiting for your thumbs up before i move on to the next topic that is the arterial supply beta of the gall bladder and the cystic duct okay chal fada fada se bata dijiye ha jaldi se bata do sanjana very good beta very good sanjana soumya very good beta perfect angel perfect temple perfect perfect beta chal Garima perfect. Chali. Answer dete rahi hai. Very good beta. Answer dete rahi hai. Perfectly chalta jayega. Okay. So you already know that. Yes. We have this. Hmm. Chali. Garima very good beta. You already know. To study the arterial supply. Or always focus on the diagrams. Right. So yes, you already know that we have the right hepatic duct and the left hepatic duct. Together they will combine to form, okay, together they will combine to form the common hepatic duct, right? So yes. Ha. Huh. So yes, they will join together the cystic duct to form the common right so i'm just labeling it as it is shortly so we have the left hepatic duct left hepatic duct we have the right hepatic duct okay we have the right hepatic duct we have the common hepatic duct we have the cystic duct we have the common by Duct. We have the common bile duct, right? <clears throat> so yes, we already know that we have the abdominal iota. So you already know. Hmm. Beta, uh, emotiva. Beta, it is just forming an S shape. Okay, it is just forming an S shape over here. Okay, with the neck part. Okay. It is, uh, I've just drawn it like a little inverted type, but it is like an S. Okay, it is just like this. Okay, so it is going like this. So that's what I have to like focus over here. So, yeah, <clears throat> now, beta, you already know that we have something which is called as. The left atrium, right? You already know we have the left ventricle. You already know we have the aortic valve. We have the ascending iota, arch of iota, and we have descending iota. We have descending iota. Okay. So below the level of the diaphragm beta, it is the abdominal iota. It is the abdominal iota. I have drawn with black color. So please remember it is the abdominal iota and from the abdominal iota below the level of the diaphragm below the level of the diaphragm 
it is like giving one ventral branch and that branch it is called as the celiac trunk okay it is called as the celiac trunk so yes it is called as the celiac trunk so yes this is the celiac trunk now this celiac trunk will give one branch to the liver now i want everyone to answer this which branch of the celiac trunk will supply the liver name of the branch beta i want answers from everyone in the chat box the name of the branch okay so yes i'm taking the celiac trunk over here yes we have the celiac trunk Chalo. yes kriti very good it is the common hepatic artery it is the common hepatic artery beta so yes you already know it will give one branch and that branch it is called as the common hepatic artery so cha kya hai it is the common hepatic artery it is the common hepatic artery yes everyone is right sanjana very good yes karima very good very good beta it is the common hepatic artery now this common hepatic artery will divide into two parts it okay it will it will give off two branches can anyone tell me the name of the two branches beta okay it will give off two branches yes can anyone tell me the name of these two branches the common hepatic artery will give off two branches ha huh. proper hepatic artery very good analog very good kriti very good beta it is the hepatic artery proper yes aur dusra wala bata do kya hoga dusra wala bata do jaldi se it is the hepatic okay it is the hepatic चलो इसका मैं उसी पेन से लिख देता हूँ सो डॉट इट्स लाइक हाँ गैस्ट्रिक रूट में लाटरी वेरी गुड तन वेरी गुड बेटा इट इज द यस इट इज दिपैटिक आर्टरी प्रॉपर हिपैटिक आर्टरी प्रॉपर एंड वी हैव द गैस्ट्रो ड्यूडनल आर्टरी ओके वी हैव द गैस्ट्रो duodenal artery right we have the gastro duodenal artery now this common hepatic artery <clears throat> okay gives of two branches hepatic artery proper and gastro duodenal artery so you all are aware that this hepatic artery proper beta this hepatic artery proper will divide into two branches okay it will divide into two branches okay it will divide into two branches one will go towards the left side of the liver to the left lobe of the liver and that is called as the left branch okay this is called as the left branch of hepatic artery proper this is called as the left branch of the hepatic artery proper and we have the yeah we have this yeah we have this right branch okay we have this right branch of hepatic artery proper so we have two branches right and left branch right we have right and left branch remember from the right branch of the hepatic okay now i want yes very good somya very good i want an answer from everyone in the chat box cystic artery is a branch of out of these two right and left cystic artery is coming from where now i want the answers from everyone in the chat box cystic artery is coming from where yes kriti very good beta it is the it is the right it is the right one yes analog arthur very good it is the right branch yes it is the right branch yes it is the right branch very good sanjana very good it is the right branch from where the cystic artery will come and it will supply the gall bladder so you can very well see it is the right branch of the hepatic artery proper which will supply the gall bladder and it is the cystic artery it is the cystic artery okay it is the cystic artery right so remember beta the gastro duodenal artery if we talk about yeah if we talk about the arterial supply 
so the lower part of the common bile duct okay the lower part of the common bile duct will get the supply from the gastrointestinal artery the lower part of the common bile duct okay will have branches from the gastrointestinal artery okay the upper part the upper part of the common bile duct will get branches from the yes hepatic artery proper yes so we have branches from the hepatic artery as well right and yeah <clears throat> so i hope uh, this is clear to everyone over here i hope this is clear to everyone over here right now yes just give me a thumbs up beta if the blood supply is clear to everyone now just give me a thumbs up in the chat box if the blood supply is clear to everyone sanjana says okay okay perfect beta perfect so you should remember beta there are common variations okay there are common variations kriti angel dimple garima very good we have the common variations of cystic artery we have the common variations of the cystic artery cystic artery can originate either from the right branch of hepatic artery okay proper it can originate from the right branch of hepatic artery proper or directly from the hepatic artery proper or it can also originate from the left branch in some individuals beta in some individuals you will see the cystic artery is originating from hepatic artery proper no worries in some people you will see it is originating from the left branch in majority of the population the cystic artery it is coming from the right branch of the hepatic artery proper is this variation clear to everyone is this variation clear to everyone angel dimple garima sachita very good perfect chal ye ho gaya clear sab logo ko yes now coming on to the venous drainage beta so remember that suppose this is the gall bladder and you should remember that beta the vein which is draining the gall bladder can anyone tell me the vein which is draining the gall bladder i want answers from everyone in the chat box can anyone tell me the vein which is draining the gall bladder yes i want answers from everyone in the chat box can anyone tell me the vein draining the gall bladder yes so yes kriti very good beta it is the cystic vein beta it is the cystic vein which is draining the gall bladder okay it is the cystic vein which is draining the gall bladder it is opens it opens okay it opens directly it opens directly into liver okay it opens directly into liver okay and and also okay and also the right branch of portal vein okay right branch of the portal vein okay, you already know we have the splenic vein superior mesenteric vein they combine to form the portal vein and portal vein has right branch and left branch so the cystic vein it is directly opening into the right branch of the portal vein the cystic vein it is directly opening into the right branch of the portal vein okay so yes vena cystica very good analog arthur very good chalo now coming on to the nerve supply beta so we have three nerve supply that you have to remember we have three nerve supply the first one beta it is the sensory nerve supply the sensory nerve supply to the gall bladder and remember it is the right phrenic nerve it is the right phrenic nerve okay it is c3 c4 c5 it is the right phrenic nerve c3 c4 c5 and remember this pain is can be referred to the right shoulder it is the pain which can be referred to the right shoulder so this is another clinical integration that you have to know the pain is referred to the right shoulder okay the pain is referred to the right shoulder now we have <clears throat> parasympathetic nerve supply 
parasympathetic nerve supply basically beta uh, peritoneum covering hoti sensory supplies hoti hai so pain can easily be supplied to the right shoulder right we have the parasympathetic nerve supply okay so remember it is from the vagus nerve and remember it is the right vagus it is the right vagus now vagus it is also supplying to the stomach the vagus it is also supplying to the stomach so rem remember beta pain via vagus okay the pain via vagus is referred to stomach the pain via vagus it is referred to stomach region as well now coming on to the systemic or sorry sympathetic nerve supply sympathetic nerve supply so yes remember it is from t7 to t9 okay t7 to t9 okay by the greater splanchnic nerve okay by the greater splanchnic nerve okay now the pain via the okay the pain via sympathetic nerve the pain via sympathetic nerve is referred is referred to inferior angle of the scapula it is referred to the inferior angle of scapula now my question to you guys is inferior angle of the scapula it is located at which uh, rib okay it is located at which rib beta inferior angle of the scapula it is located at which rib i want answers from everyone in the chat box inferior angle of the scapula it is located at which rib chale jaldi se answer bataiye ha kaun si rib pe hota hai bhai so coming on to the lymphatic drainage yes now remember beta the lymphatic drainage it is the cystic lymph nodes cystic lymph nodes of lund okay they are named as cystic lymph nodes of lund and we have the hepatic lymph nodes hepatic lymph nodes as well hepatic lymph nodes now remember that if there is inflammation of the gall bladder okay so these lymph nodes the cystic lymph nodes of lund get enlarged they get enlarged yes nahi beta nine nahi hai beta nine nahi hai fun mode ha nine nahi hai रिब रिब की बात कर रहा हूं मैं टी सेवन क्या लिख रहे हो रिब की बात हो रही है चलो बेसिकली दे आर इन लार्ज इन द इंफ्लमेशन ऑफ द गोल्ड ब्लैडर डेट इज कॉल्ड आज कोलिसाइटिस बेटा कोलिसाइटिस ओके आइटिस का मतलब क्या होता है इंफ्लमेशन ओके सो रिमेंबर अबाउट दिस द लिम्फेटिक ट्रेनेज coming on to the common bile duct beta common bile duct common bile duct so remember beta the common bile duct the common bile duct it is yeah it is formed below it is ha 7s 7m theek hai theek hai 2 to 7 hota hai na beta 2 to 7 is very good yeah T7 नहीं है मेरा मैं वर्टिप्रल लेवल नहीं पूछ रहा मैं वर्टिप्रल लेवल नहीं पूछ रहा ना तो T7 का मतलब पता हो फिर क्या है सेवन सही है क्या है वो सेवन <laughs> चलो ठीक है इट इज फॉर्म बाय ओके फॉर्म बाय यूनियन ऑफ सिस्टिक डाउट एंड common hepatic duct is formed by union of cystic duct and common hepatic duct right so remember 
uh, it is formed behind okay it is formed or you can just see it is formed below formed below porta hepatis it is formed below the porta hepatis okay if we talk about the length beta if we talk about the length so remember the length is three inches long three inches long and if we talk about the parts if we talk about the parts so it has three parts beta okay we have the supra duodenal part supra duodenal part okay we have the okay retro duodenal part retro duodenal part and yes we have the infra duodenal part infra duodenal part so you guys already know you guys already have studied the portal vein also so portal vein wala cheese again the same concept i will apply over here so for example if you know that this is the gallbladder okay it is giving it secretion over here so yes we have the common hepatic duct common hepatic duct we have the cystic duct they combine to form the common bile duct okay they combine to form the common bile duct and these common bile duct will drain into okay it will drain into the second part of the duodenum right it will drain into the second part of the duodenum so you already know if suppose i just want to draw the duodenum over here okay if i want to draw the duodenum over here so you are very well aware that this is the duodenum okay so you can see that part one beta part one which is above the duodenum okay the part one of the common bile duct it is above the duodenum beta so that is called as the supra duodenal part it is above the duodenum the part which is below the duodenum it is called as the infra duodenal part of the common bile duct it is called as the infra duodenal part seventh ye beta 2 to 7 ribs hota hai 2 to 7 ribs hota hai fun mode or one which is behind the duodenum one which is behind the duodenum again beta it is the retro retro ka matlab kya hota hai behind the du duodenum so we have three parts okay we have three parts so you are very well aware we have the supra duodenal part supra duodenal part of common bile duct we have the retro duodenal part okay we have the retro duodenal part of common bile duct and we have the infra duodenal part of common bile duct infra duodenal part of common bile duct is this clear beta parts are clear jaldi se batao parts clear hai tum logo ko sabko jaldi se batao fada fada se chat box mein answer do so you can very well see beta agar ye grace um, anatomy ka atlas ka diagram dekho to ek ye duodenum ho gaya theek hai ye duodenum hai to ek duodenum ke upar dikh raha hai beta tumhe this is the supra duodenal part duodenum ke piche hai infra duodenal um, retro duodenal ho gaya aur duodenum ke niche hai so we have the infra duodenal part we have the infra duodenal part so it's not clear yes dimple sanjana angel matthew is very good very good beta very good garima very good very good beta perfect perfect so obviously beta other is my course kuch hodo or other simple relations pe agar may concentrate karo beta so anteriorly beta remember that kya present hoga obviously baat hai supra duodenal part supra mala duodenum ke upar thik hai to common bile duct ke aage kya present hoga liver और पीछे क्या प्रेजेंट होता है इट इज पोर्टल वेन ये सबको पहले ही पता है ठीक है रेट्रो ड्यूटनल की अगर बात की जाए बेटा एंटीरियरली वॉट इट विल बी प्रेजेंट इट इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूटनम ऑब्वियस ही बात है ड्यूटनम के पीछे है सेकेंड वाला पार्ट तो आगे क्या प्रेजेंट होगा वॉट विल बी प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट इट इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूटनम इट इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ड्यूटनम देन वी हैव पोस्टीरियरली अगेन द पोस्टीरियर रिलेशन सबका सेम है पोर्टल वेन ही होगा ठीक है पोस्टीरियरली इन फ्रंट ट्यूडनल में भी क्या है पोर्टल वे जो चीजें दिख रही है सिर्फ उतना ही याद रखना है जो चीजें दिख रही है वट एवर यू कैन सी जस्ट ट्राई टू रिमेम्बर डैट बेटा ओके एंड एंटीरियरली 
थर्ड पार्ट में आपको पता है इंफ्रा ड्यूटनल है और ड्यूटनम के जस्ट नीचे क्या प्रेजेंट है पेनक्रियास प्रेजेंट है एंड इट इज द हेड ऑफ द पेनक्रियास ओके इट इज द हेड ऑफ द पेनक्रियास so i hope the relations are also clear because i have already discussed it multiple number of times i have already discussed it multiple number of times right so yes now if we come to the common bile duct beta if we come to the common bile duct and let me try to just know uh, draw the same diagram which is drawn on the screen okay so let me uh, just talk about the termination now the termination how does it ends the termination of common bile duct the termination of the common bile duct okay the termination of the common bile duct you already know again i will draw for you people the same diagram which is given over here you already know we have the common bile duct okay this is remember it is the common bile duct now we have something which is called as the pancreatic duct beta okay we have the pancreatic duct okay we have the pancreatic duct yes and it is the main pancreatic duct can you tell me the name of the main pancreatic duct can you tell me the name of the main pancreatic duct it is also known as duct of it is also known as the duct of answer the question beta it is also known as the duct of so we have this main pancreatic duct yes main pancreatic duct it is also known as the duct of wilson it is also known as the duct of wilson right so this is like the basic knowledge that you already know now <clears throat> this common bile duct okay this common bile duct will have sphincters in between okay it it will have sphincter over here now these sphincters are named as okay these sphincters are named as yes everyone is right prithvi varun fun mode very good very good very good so you can see the sphincters over here and these sphincter is known as there are two sphincters beta upar wale ko bolte hain superior aur niche wale ko bolenge inferior so we have the superior and inferior colito col okay colito colito col sphincter yes sanjana very good and yes yeah we have sphincters in the pancreatic duct as well yes so these sphincters beta yes yeah these sphincters are known as the pancreatic sphincters okay these sphincters are known as the pancreatic sphincters pancreatic sphincter okay now both will combine beta both will combine to form a dilatation okay both will combine to form a dilatation and that dilatation you can easily see for example beta this is the second okay i'll just try to draw that dilatation for you can anyone tell me what is this dilatation called can anyone tell me what is this dilatation called as okay can anyone tell me what is this dilatation called as and automatically it will be yeah it will be landing up in the yes can anyone tell me what is this dilatation called as yes dilatation sphincter theek hai yahan pe bhi ek sphincter present hoga that is rightly said by the kriti yeah ha sphincter of odai theek hai but is dilatation ko kya bolte hain yes fun mode very good it is the ampulla of water yeah so this dilatation beta so this dilatation yeah so this dilatation that you can see over here it is the ampulla of water yes
चलो बढ़िया हाँ तो इस डायलिटेशन को हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं तो वी हैव दिस डायलिटेशन एंड रिमेंबर दैट दिस डायलिटेशन इट इज कॉल्ड एज द एम्प्यूला ऑफ वाटर एम्प्यूला ऑफ वाटर ओके एंड समवन सेड आई थिंक कृति ओनली वी हैव अ स्पिंटर ओवर हियर एंड दिस स्पिंटर बेटा this sphincter it is called as sphincter of odai sphincter of odai and this opening beta it is called as the major duodenal papilla it is called as the major duodenal papilla okay this major duodenal papilla opens in okay the major duodenal papilla opens in which part of the duodenum we have four parts of the duodenum first second third and fourth so tell me the major duodenal papilla opens in which part of the duodenum beta tell me jaldi se bataiye yes varun kashyap very good beta very good so you already know we have this yes the duodenum part yes so yes we have the first part of the duodenum and we have the second part of the duodenum and yes it is the major varun kriti fun mode very good sanjana very good beta it is the second part yeah where this opens and just uh, like 1.5 cm above beta we have another opening that is the accessory pancreatic duct can anyone tell me yes it is opening into the the opening it is called as the minor duodenal papilla it is called as the minor duodenal papilla and it is the accessory pancreatic duct which is opening over here it is the accessory pancreatic duct which is opening over here i hope everything is like clear crystal clear the common bile duct termination relations and about the parts right so just give me a thumbs up beta yes ha centaurini yes we have the major pancreatic duct yeah so yes sanjana very good beta angel very good very good beta fada fada se thumbs up de do jaldi se sab log badhiya tarike se thumbs up temple di very good very good beta ha ah. hmm. chal 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 perfect perfect kar beta perfect beta perfect so yes now coming on to the last topic for today that is the cysto hepatic triangle of kellot The cystohepatic triangle of the kellot. So again, I will try to draw a diagram for you people. You already know, beta, that for example, we have this liver. Okay, you already know we have this liver with us. Okay, I'll just draw it a little nicer. Hmm. So yes. now this is the right lobe of the liver and this is the left lobe of the liver right and you already know we have the gall bladder over here so let us suppose that this is the gall bladder which is situated inferiorly okay and it is having this hartman's pouch the cystic duct okay the cystic duct and yes it is secreting into the common bile duct okay it is secreting into the common bile duct i mean forming the common bile duct it is uniting with the common hepatic duct and together they are forming the common bile duct so this is common bile duct right we have this common hepatic duct right and this one which i have drawn with green beta remember this is the cystic duct cystic duct so you all can get a triangular area inside so i hope everyone can see this triangular area which i am just highlighting it over here so yes 
Now you guys are going to tell me the boundaries beta. To the right, to the left, okay. Medially, laterally, and base of the triangle. It is formed by what? Medially. What is present medially beta? देखो बेटा अगर ये राइट साइड है और ये लेफ्ट है तो ऑब्वियसली बात है ये वाला मीडियल हो जाएगा अकॉर्डिंग टू बॉडी एंड राइट साइड क्या हो जाएगा लेटरल राइट राइट साइड क्या हो जाएगा लेटरल सो यू गाइस आर गोइंग टू टेल मी मीडियली व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द बाउंड्रीज चलिए फटाफट से बताइए चैट बॉक्स के अंदर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द बाउंड्रीज बेटा चलो मीडियली बताओ कॉमन हिमालिक टक्ट वेरी गुड बेटा मीडियली वेरी गुड सौम्या वरण गरिमा वेरी गुड मीडियली वी हैव द कॉमन हिपैटिक टक्ट वी हैव द कॉमन हिपैटिक टक्ट फटाफट से बताओ लेटरली क्या प्रेजेंट होगा फटाफट से बताओ लेटरली क्या प्रेजेंट होगा बेटा हाँ डिंपल दी फन मोड बिल्कुल सही है लेटरली क्या प्रेजेंट होगा जल्दी से बताओ लेटरली क्या प्रेजेंट है I'm waiting for your answers, everyone. Lateral side पे क्या present है? Cystic duct है? नहीं, मेरा वो ऐसे नहीं बनाना। वो base हो गया ना triangle का। Lateral side पे तो cystic duct होगा। हाँ, very good. Laterally, देखो बेटा, medial ये है, lateral ये है और base ये बनेगा triangle का। Base ये बन जाएगा, ठीक है? So laterally we have the cystic. Medial के just opposite वाला क्या हो जाएगा? Cystic. Okay? And yes. The base of this triangle, okay. The base of this triangle, it is formed by the inferior border of liver. It is formed by the inferior border of liver. Okay, the inferior border of the liver. Now, if we talk about the contents, what is passing in this triangle? What is passing in this triangle? What is passing in this particular triangle, beta? So remember, beta, we have an artery over here. That I'll just try to show it over here. So yes, we have artery over here, and this artery it is called as the right branch. Okay, it, I'm like drawing it from another side. So yes. Okay, let me just yeah. So yes. We have the right branch, right branch of hepatic artery proper. Okay, we have another artery beta which is coming over here. Okay, from the cystic duct, from the gallbladder, and this is the cystic artery. Cystic artery that you will find in this particular triangle. Yes, Manish Raj, very good. Varun Kashyap, very good, beta. And we have lymph nodes also that you will encounter over here, beta. We have lymph nodes, and these lymph nodes are called as the cystic lymph nodes. Okay, these lymph nodes you will also find, and these lymph nodes are the cystic lymph nodes of Lund. Okay, so we have the cystic Lymph nodes of Lund. Okay, so these are also present in this triangle. So I hope the boundaries and the contents are clear to each and every one, Peter. I hope the boundaries and contents are clear to each and every one. Jaldi se thumbs up dido that today's topic is clear to each and every one. The sister hepatic triangle of Kellogg, the common bile duct termination, the common bile duct relations, right? The, yes. <clears throat> The common bile duct pictures I've shown from the atlas, the lymphatic drainage of the gallbladder, nerve supply of the gallbladder, and the clinical correlations, the pain correlations. Varam, dimple, angel, garima, very good, beta. The venous drainage, the arterial supply, okay, the cystic duct, the neck of the gallbladder, body of the gallbladder, fundus of the gallbladder, all the parts, I hope it's clear, the shape, size, size, capacity, function. Yes, excretory apparatus of the liver, yes, which I have already drawn with a very simple diagram. Yeah. So yes, Manish Raj, I have already explained the nerve supply. Yes, we have sensory supply from the right phrenic nerve, parasympathetic supply from the right vagus, right beta, and we have sympathetic nerve supply from T7 to T9. Okay, right phrenic nerve may irritation hoga. So pain will be referred to the right shoulder. 
ओके पैरासिंपैथेटिक में ऑब्वियसली बात है वेगस नर्वस सप्लाई तो वेगस इज आल्सो कनेक्टेड टू द स्टमक सो पेन वाया वेगस इज रेफर्ड टू स्टमक आल्सो इफ द स्प्लैंकनिक नर्व्स आर और द पेन वाया सिंपैथेटिक नर्व इट विल बी रेफर्ड टू द इंफीरियर एंगल ऑफ द स्कैपुलर दैट इज प्रेजेंट एट द लोअर बॉर्डर ऑफ या द सेवंथ रिब राइट सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर सो कॉमन बाइल डक्ट यू शुड आल्सो रिमेंबर द आर्टरीज बेटा the common uh, yeah the common bile duct what is the artery that are supplying the common bile duct jaldi se fatafat fat se ek bar chat box mein bata do what is the artery that are supplying the common bile duct so common bile duct you should also remember the arteries beta yes we have the common bile duct yes the arteries which are supplying beta it is uh the upper part i have already told you this in the diagram itself so remember the upper part we have the right hepatic artery right hepatic artery or cystic artery okay branches from right and cystic artery can also supply the upper part lower part is something which you have to remember the lower part beta it is superior pancreatic or duodenal artery okay now specifically which branch yes that is like you have to remember yeah gastro duodenal artery is there but which branch of gastro duodenal artery which branch of gastro duodenal artery that also you have to remember it is the yeah gastro duodenal artery but which branch it is yes which will supply it is the superior pancreatic or duodenal artery superior pancreatic or duodenal artery because it is also dividing into the right uh, gastroepiploic artery but right gastroepiploic doesn't supply so which branch of gastro duodenal artery will supply the lower part it is the superior pancreatic or duodenal artery i hope this is clear to each and every one yes i hope this is clear to each and every one all the lectures are clear uh, like all the lecture is clear so just give me a thumbs up guys before leaving that all the topics for today is clear chal good bye beta good bye let's meet tomorrow with a new topic sanjana very good beta very good perfect beta sure thank you thank you okay thank you for your patience beta for listening me out that is something very important very good bye